Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Official Vintage TV. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing for today's episode. Um, we've been getting a bunch of comments asking to do another un unboxing. Um, this one's got a lot of mix and miscellaneous stuff in this box particular. I haven't looked at it yet. As you can see, it's still taped. Um, but yeah, let's get into this unboxing. There's hopefully a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So let's open the box. Give me one second. As you can see, freshly, freshly opened. Heat. Here's the box as you guys can see. Whoa. Whole bunch of. I don't even know what's on here. Let's get started. Alright. First of all, we've got this polar bear. This is a super rare polar bear. We've only ever had a few of these in the store ever. Um, this is a ski polar bear. This is a really good size. It says it's a medium, but it's probably like a large. Um, this is probably one of the most sought after polar bears. And it's a good size, good color, and clean as well. So that's our first piece in this unboxing. It's a good one to start us off. Um, moving on to the next one. So there we go, this one. We've got uh, the Australian Open 2010 ST. So this was held in Melbourne. Um, our current store is in Melbourne. Um, just, we're pretty much about 10 minutes away from where the Oz Open is. Um, so that's in, we're in Paran. And the Oz opens in the middle of Melbourne. So about 10 minutes to the CBD. Oh, but this one's cool. Australian Open 2000 ST. It's on that um, Nike tennis tag. Which is cool. So this is Nike sponsored. This is another sought after Jordan T. This one's in a big size as well. It's probably like an XL. It's on that um, white Nike tag as you can see. We've done a whole bunch of tag guides about the Nike tag. Uh, Nike tag so make sure you go check out that video um, but yeah this one's a really cool one crazy graphic of Jordan in it and it's just a really sought after tee next off we just got another polar bear this is a long sleeve don't really see too many polar bear long sleeves sticking on the sort of tennis vibe we got this uh, Nike challenge court so it's got a front and a back hit this is the front hit this is on that grey Nike tag. So there's ho hopefully a whole bunch of Nike stuff in this box. It's a grey Nike tag. That's the front. That's the back. I love the way in all the Nike tees, especially the 90s ones, they had a whole bunch of varieties of colours that they went through with all the white tees. So they use a lot of those like yellows and the reds. Um, super unusual. And then it's got the side head as well. Uh, we've got a couple of... What are these? So we've got these cool body glove t-shirts. These are all over print. Um, as you can see, they're crazy graphics, but it looks like we've got a couple of these in this box. And we're pretty much gonna do a drop of these. So I've been holding all these all over prints for a while, all the body gloves ones, um, but I pretty much got a whole pile of them. So we're just gonna all drop them and maybe like a Tyler's collection or something like that. So I'll go through these quickly, cause there's really cool designs. I love the way, I just love the designs. Love the designs on these ones. Crazy. I think I've got another one here. I might have a few more. Oh yeah, I've got a couple of them here. Let's go this one. Front, back. It was definitely a lot harder to print. These all look screen printed. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a lot harder to... Um... Well, this is a cool one. This has got a... So, Body Glove, to give you a bit of a history, is a... Um, surf brand, like boogie board surf brand, and then this has got a pretty random biker on it, which is super unusual. Sticking out with the tennis theme today, we've got that Tommy, that Tommy, big boxy fit on this one, Tommy, Tommy Tennis. I really love the colour on that one, the good fade through it. So just another Tommy T, this one's cool. I might actually keep this for myself. <coughs> Alright, next off. We have got a Sydney 2000s, IBM sponsored. This is dead stock, so this has never been worn. It looks like it's never been worn as well. This is the back of it, Sydney 2000. Then it's got the IBM 
and the Olympic rings, which is a big sponsor of the Sydney 2000s Olympics. And if you see, if you're from Melbourne or any other big city, you obviously see the, see the big um, IBM, IBM um, buildings in the middle of most cities of Sydney and Melbourne. Just another dead stock one as well. So dead stocks, pretty much it's been sitting in a box for about 30 years or sitting in someone's cupboard and never actually been worn. Um, so that's still got the tags in it from the 94 Olympics. So next up we've got this bootleg Nike. This isn't a crazy one. Um, yeah, I always have the argument of what do you like better, bootleg or just normal Nike. I really like the designs of most of the bootleg stuff just because they're like really one of one. As you can see, you'll probably never find um, a sweater like this as well. So as you can see, yeah, this sweater hasn't been designed by Nike. So they used to come out with the sort of most outrageous designs. Um, this one's really cool. It's sort of one of one. You don't really get too many of the double ups on the bootleg stuff. Whereas say this is just a normal Nike. Nike sweater, they would have made a lot of these ones back in the day, but um, I just really like the colors on this one as well. But they would have a whole staple. Um, this would have been one of their big collections. This one, we're, we've been getting a lot of people wanting these basic ones. They're becoming really popular again. Uh, especially this colorway, everyone's loving the baby blue. But yeah, everyone's really loving just the simple logos. Everyone's loving the t-shirts of these ones as well. Um, they sort of dropped off for a bit, but now they're back up and pretty much everyone that comes into the store always asks, oh, have you got any sort of basic Nike sweaters? So we always have to go out the back and sort of find it for him. So if you ever come to the store and you're sort of after anything, we can go look out the back, especially for something like that where there were, um, a lot of them made just because back in the early 2000s, a lot of used, people used to just wear them as like general basic stuff compared to something like this where there's not really We'll probably never find something like this really again because there wouldn't be too many double ups because um, it's just sort of a random team. But then it's also got like the gold, gold embossing with the embroidery in the middle. Normally with these ones, they have a middle swoosh there as well, which make the sweater look a lot better. There might be one or two in this box. Hopefully we, we don't really know. Um, so I can show you guys what it sort of, like, sort of like looks like. This is a basketball star, so this is just a 76ers. Um, good size in this one. We're currently getting a lot of basketball sweaters in. Um, we're just holding them all at the moment, but we're gonna be dropping them this month um, just because it's coming into the basketball season. And yeah, we just wanna sort of make sure everyone's kitted out for the basketball season. Oh, talking about another one, we've got a, we've got a Pacers basketball. Good spell out, good colors on this one. This is just a standard champion sports team sweater um, they used to do it real well super basic designs but very good staple another basketball one so we got the chicago bulls on that um nike tag just that black tag they're made in korea um, this one's really cool i love how they do all the print and then they've got the embroidery for the swoosh um, you never really find too many grey bull stuff, and when you do, they're super pricey just because a lot of the bull stuff is red. Because obviously, Chicago Bulls is red and black, so when you find a grey thing, it's a lot more valuable. So just talking about the Jordan stuff and talking about Chicago Bulls, um, this is a really nice tee. With the older stuff, you can really appreciate the detailing. As you can see, the colours on here, you can even see the crowds in the back which um, they don't really care about when they're making sort of tees these, these day and age. Um, the text and the color on the text, and that's what sort of makes this tee pretty special. Another basketball one, we've got a quarter zip, Magic. So all of these are gonna be dropping this month. We're gonna be doing a whole full sweater basketball drop. So I've been holding a bunch of the sweaters just so we could drop them all together. I think there's a whole bunch in here by the looks of it. Next one, we've got a Timberwolves. A Puma one though, which is cool. Nice embroidery with the NBA basketball logo. But it's sponsored by Puma, which is cool. Just another classic. Um, another classic polar bear. I really like this one. This is a golf one. So I've had about three or four polar bears in this box, which everyone's after. Um, that's a really nice one. Not as rare as the other ones. Um, this is a cool one. We got 
it's on the Nike uh, white tag. Then it's got the uh, Michael Jordan restaurant, the restaurant. Um, this is a front and back, so it's got his number on the back. And it's also just got the Jordan. Jordan hit on the front. But it's a really nice tee. Another basketball one, so my favorite team, the Sonics. Um, yeah, this is fire. Whew. This is probably one of the craziest ones in the box. This is a Cavs two-tone. Sizing looks like it's a big XL. Love the colors on this one. Very clean. This is a starter one, so you don't really see that too often. It's got a starter hit on the back. But man, black and the baby blue. This is definitely a beautiful, beautiful sweater. Got a whole bunch of these bootlegs. So we got this bootleg Fendi. Just on the fruit of the loom tag. Um, yeah, bootleg. We also got another bootleg Gucci. On the jersey tag. I love the yellow on that one. We have got also, so we've got the F1 T. Everyone keeps asking about all the F1. So this is a Marlboro sponsored one. Um, but yeah, it's the F1 T. Oh, a sweater, sorry. You love the graphics on it. Everyone loves the Marlboro stuff. Everyone keeps coming into the store and asking to buy our Marlboro towel. So if you've ever been to our store, um, we've got a massive Marlboro towel that's pretty, pretty rare. I've never seen one before. But yeah, this is probably just going to be hanging next to it, I reckon. It's a very cool one. Just your big Nike swoosh, just your classic. Um, everyone's really after the Nike at the moment. It's probably one of the popular, it's on trend. Um, so make sure you're hitting up the website because we're currently doing two Nike drops a week. We try to do a sweater and a tea drop or we just mix the two together. Um, but yeah. So we've had, we've had about four variations of the polar bear. This is just another one, suited polar bear. We had the skiing one, we had the golf one. And um, then we had, I think we had another black one, long sleeve of this one as well that just came in. The last two items to finish the box off. We got this big starter one. We got this uh, Chicago Bulls three P. This is basic, just got a good embroidery in there. Um, starter hit. You know you can't go wrong with anything that's not starter. And last but not least, drum roll. We have got the big hit Tommy. Big flag, if you wear Tommy tees, this is the Tommy tee you're after. Everyone wants the big flag. Um, but that's pretty much to end our unboxing. As you can see, this is pretty much what our usual boxes look like when they come in. Um, we either have a lot of more sports team or a lot more Nike, but that's basically what we sort of get in a box. Um, if you want us to do an unboxing about anything else, let us know. So that's pretty much the episode for today. I just wanted to jump on here and say a massive thank you to everyone. We've only just hit 1,300 subscribers, which is massive for us. We've only been doing this for pretty much just a year now. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys. Um, if you like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We would definitely want to grow this channel. Uh, make sure you go to Suss Our Podcast out where we um, talk to small businesses too. Um, but yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. You guys have been a massive help over the last year. Till next time.